Hey, today we're drawing a Native American war bonnet in this video. I drew this on A2 size paper and it literally took me three full days of work to finish it. So I'm breaking up this artwork into two parts. And for those who are going to skip part one and head straight to part two, it's about the journey, not the destination in life. Also, Santa is watching you. You'll be on the naughty list if you skip to part two. Remember that brand new Xbox a pony you wanted? You'll get a bag of potatoes instead. So the colours I chose for this artwork were a little risky. Firstly, I chose to use a red watercolour, which is the worst watercolour choice to pick ever. For reasons why, see my Iron Man artwork, I'll leave a link in the description to that disaster. Secondly, I used several bright and vibrant colours such as yellow, orange, blue and green. I wasn't sure if the colours would blend together at all, or if they would blend together and form some sort of murky brown colour when I did the watercolour drips but it felt right to use these colours in order to pay respect to the vibrance of the war bonnet. Also, the colours look like I've smeared a rainbow paddle pop ice cream on the paper. It didn't taste as good though, don't drink watercolours. As Notorious B.I.G. famously said, if you don't know, now you know. Well, there we go, managed to quote B.I.G. in a drawing video. I can finally cross that one off the bucket list. Where do we go in the video after that spectacular unwarranted use of a quote? Mm, let's just start over fresh. So the first part of this artwork is really just going over my rough pencil lines with fine liner. There's two different styles of art I decided to use in this artwork. The first style of art I used is what I've drawn on the feathers, a Polynesian style, but I'll explain why I used that in the next part of the video. The second style which is located on the forehead area of the hat is actually inspired by Ezio Auditore's assassin outfit and armour. Etched into his armour and laced into his cloak are lots of large and small line patterns which I've been itching to include in a drawing. I'm not sure if it's an Italian style per se, but I really love that style. It's really classy and very elegant. Okay, the next part will be published soon, so click here to see it, unless it hasn't been uploaded yet. See you in part 2. Thanks for watching. Please subscribe, follow me on Instagram and like me on Facebook or click to see a random video below. I'll catch you down the road.